Hi, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. Thank you for coming by. Now, for the last four weeks, I've been actually busy with the June Intensive Bootcamp for both the A and E Math. So today, I'm going to share with you one of the important things that I actually taught my participants during one of the module called Algebra. Now, um, do you know how to add or subtract your algebraic fraction? Today I'm going to discuss with you this particular type of question which I call the real disguise. Let's take a look at how this sort of question looks like. So you're given two fractions and your job is actually to express it in the simplest form. Now I'm going to share with you first what most students do. So, this is what most students will do. They just combine the two denominators that they see, and boom, that will be the answer before they actually go ahead and expand it, simplify it. However, this approach is incorrect. Now, so what must we do in order to get a correct answer? First thing, there are a few checks that you need to do. Now, if you look at the numerators and the denominators, Ask yourself, are they fully factorized? In this case, yes. So you don't have to do any factorizing work. So the next thing that you need to check for this question, do you notice something about the denominator? Don't they look somewhat similar? And this is my purpose of actually sharing with you this video. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about what I meant by real disguised. So, you have noticed there's something um, similar between the two denominators. So, we're going to check term by term. Over here, our x is positive. Over here, my x is negative. And my 4 is negative. And my 4 here is positive. Do you notice something? The terms are basically the same. We have an x, we have a 4. However, in both case, the sign in front of the term actually switches. So, this is what I meant by a real disguise question. So, what does it mean for you? Which means to say, you can actually express them to be the same. And how do I do that? So, for example, once I realize this is a real disguise question, the next thing that you're going to ask yourself is, how would I want the denominator to look like? Well, I want all my denominators to look like x minus 4. Which means to say, I need to change 4 minus x into x minus 4. However, if I just leave things like this, I cannot convince you that both are the same. So what I need to do, add in a minus sign. And if you just simply do an expansion, you realize, hey, we really get back x minus 4 minus x. So, the next thing that we can do right now is, so the first fraction, we don't have to do anything, just copy it down. Second fraction is the part that we need to do some work. So, I'm going to change this 4 minus x into minus bracket x minus 4. And the numerator stays as it is. And the next thing that you want to do is to combine this two sign. So, right now it becomes x minus 4, x plus 3 squared, minus x minus 4, 9 plus 7x. Hooray! Can you see that both the denominators are the same right now? So this is one of the very important things that you, you have to do before you can add or even minus two algebraic fractions together. That is, to ensure that both of them have a common denominator. Let us take a look at what are the steps that follow. After I've made sure that both of them have a common denominator, which is x minus 4, I can combine numerators together. Take note of the second thing that I want you to pay attention to. You must ensure that you have a bracket around your second numerator. Alright, this is something that many students actually missed out. So if you want to actually score full marks for this question, these are the little things that you need to take note. And from there, you can go ahead and expand, simplify, and finally, this will be your answer. 
So I hope you actually find the video useful. And if you actually would like to receive more of such tips and strategies, please remember to go to singaporeolevelmax.com. I'll see you in the next post. Thank you.